everyone welcome back to a new tutorial on mystery makes so on today's video i will be showing you guys how to create buttons and forms in your pdf this is another indesign tutorial on an interactive pdf element that i will be showing you guys how to insert into your pdfs so you're probably wondering what kind of button i'm talking about Basically, when you have ebooks or PDFs with multiple files, so instead of scrolling, you have buttons that you can click that go to the next page or the previous page. That's basically the kind of button I will be showing you guys how to make. So the first thing we want to do is go down to our layers and create a new layer. And we will name it buttons. And we will be working in this layer throughout the entire demo. So the next thing we want to do is create buttons on our pages. So if you have a 100 page document, let's just say for example, and you want to create a button, we obviously don't want to go through every single page individually and try to create a button manually. Instead, we will go to master pages and create buttons on the left side and the right side of the page. Therefore, we only have to do the process two times instead of a hundred times. So when we go to pages, you see the A master written right here. Those are our master pages. I have previously made a tutorial on how to create master pages. Make sure to check that video out if you want more information on master pages. So now we'll start off with the left side of our master page. I already do have buttons placed, so I will go turn on those layers and go back to my pages so I have two buttons I still need to edit them let me quickly do that so now that I have my buttons on the page we will adjust them to where we want them to be so once you've adjusted your buttons we now want to add an action to it so we will go to windows interactive and then buttons and forms so now that we have our buttons and forms open we will click on one of the arrows to assign them so under type we will choose button and then you can name it to previous and then for the event we will choose how we would like our button to be clicked so we will keep it to on release or tap next we would like to create an action so we want this button to go to the previous page so obviously we will click go to previous page once you have done that, you've created your button. And we will do the same for the next button. So for the next button, it's pretty much the same idea. We'll click button, name it to next. We will keep the event the same. And for actions, we will click on go to next page. So we've done the left side of the page. Now we have to do the right side of the page. And for that, we just click on the right side in our master pages. We can copy and paste what we have there. After you adjust to where you want the buttons, it's the same idea. Now I'm going to quickly assign these buttons to an event. So now that we have our buttons and we want to go back to our original PDF to see how it looks, we will simply just click on one of our pages in our document. When you click on one of the pages, you can see where your arrows have been placed. Once you've added the buttons and assigned them to an event, we are basically finished here. So now I will export this PDF and I will show you guys how it works. To export this PDF, we will go down to File, Export, name it to Buttons, select where you would like to save it. So under Format, we will click Adobe PDF Interactive instead of the Print and then save it. So now that I have my final PDF, let's test this out. Obviously this is the front page, so you can't go back on this one. And just making sure that all of my buttons work. And yes, they all work. So that's basically how you create buttons in an interactive PDF. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to check out my last video on how to create hyperlinks in interactive PDFs. Hyperlinks are another interactive element that you can place on your PDFs. 
So if you want to learn how to do that, please go and check out my last video. I will have it linked in my description down below. However, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned because I have a lot of new videos coming out soon. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.